This is NBC 10 News. So there's really no doubt the Philadelphia area is getting warmer and wetter. And in a new partnership with the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University, we're taking a look at the local impacts of the climate crisis, Tracy. Here's NBC 10 First Alert Meteorologist Ben Hurricane Schwartz with something that we're seeing more of, flooding. There you go. You can tell a lot about someone from their name. My name is uh, Frank the Barber. Make sure your neck is good. Frank's been cutting hair for 22 years. It was one of my passions. That passion led him to open this Germantown salon in 2019. And it's something that I love. But he's not a big fan of what happens at this location when it rains. Here we go. The river's back. Frank captured this video last year. You see the water coming up to a shop's front door. The block has officially flooded. And this video, Look debris floats down, down Brenton here. Street. This is crazy. Frank's concerned the water is going to impact his business. The water comes up on the sidewalk. I don't want it to come into the shop and damage the electrical or the flooring that we that we put down. The area native says the storms are getting worse. Normally we just get a little rain here and there and then it stop. Now it's the storms they come. A lot of wind, a lot of water, hail, just dark storms, a lot of lightning too. And he's right. Climate change means we can experience more severe storms more often. Those are going to cause more flooding. There are several neighborhoods throughout the city that experience flooding. My name is Julia Rockwell. I'm the Climate Change Adaptation Program Manager at the Philadelphia Water Department. Rockwell says Philly experiences three types of flooding. One is tidal flooding from the Delaware and Schuylkill Rivers. Tidal means we're vulnerable to uh, storm surge and high tides. And with climate change, as the sea levels rise, we will see more uh, severe and frequent tidal flooding. She says we saw this with Hurricane Irene. Another form of flooding is called riverine. We see intense rainfall events that increases the flows in our rivers and creeks and streams. And that water just overflows into the surrounding land and the surrounding neighborhoods. Look no further than the Eastwick neighborhood for the damaging impacts. Some of the issues actually aren't related to riverine flooding. They're related to our infrastructure. As the city grows and becomes more urban, we actually have more impervious cover throughout the city. And impervious cover is land cover that doesn't infiltrate water. So what that results in is more stormwater runoff uh, that can overwhelm our drainage systems. Sidewalk is gone, trash is floating down the block. That brings us back to Germantown and block Frank the is, Barber. Is, the water can't go anywhere because it comes so fast. The city knows about the area's flooding issues. There are signs on just about every street warning people about the danger. The water department put up this nearby rain garden to help with the problem. It's also working on other flooding solutions throughout the city. But until there's a more permanent fix, when severe weather's near, Frank relies on another important tool. I got my NBC 10 alert on my phone to bring in my uh, signs and benches so the wind won't blow them away and everything get all wet up. Ah, see, it's great to use that NBC 10 app. Well, Glenn and other climate change experts last night participated in a town square 